Nathan Wade, the attorney Fonnie Willis is accused of having an affair with, has been paid more than $650,000 in fees by Fulton County. Here's a little bit of his resume. Wade was a municipal judge who mostly dealt with traffic tickets and running a private practice focusing on family law and contract disputes. Our Fox News research department found no evidence he has ever prosecuted a felony case. Yet Fonnie Willis picked him for arguably the biggest case in her career. A former district, a former Justice Department prosecutor with this. Bottom line is, it looks like Fannie Willis, according to this motion filed by Mr. Roman's attorney, has, has brought in a special prosecutor who has never tried a felony case and who got divorced or, or filed for divorce the day after she appointed him to this position, for which he and his firm has now billed about a million dollars. Clay Travis, founder of OutKick, and today I'm adding an attorney. What is your take on what's yes. happening in Georgia? It's a massive story. I think, if anything, this has been underplayed overall by the media. I, I think, Harris, this is a dead prosecution. I think Fonnie Will is going to have to step down. I think Nathan Wade's going to have to step down. And if the state of Georgia really gets into this investigation, which Governor Brian Kemp on down, everybody should be involved in this, hmm. I think it's possible there's a criminal prosecution against Willis herself based on these allegations. She tried to say that this was race-based, Harris, but uh, by saying, oh, they're only focusing on one of the three uh, attorneys that I hired to participate in this investigation, and my response to that will be, well, did you sleep with the other two as Ooh. well? Uh, because until the allegations that you were sleeping with a man that you funneled $650,000 in taxpayer money to, a man who may well have been unqualified to have the job in the first place, and also allegations, Harris, that she was traveling with him on extravagant vacations that were being paid for by the taxpayers of Georgia. Oof. If you were going to try and put the former president of the United States behind bars in an outrageous and unprecedented series of charges under Georgia state law, you need to be crystal clear yourself and have absolutely nothing in your background that is going to impinge on these prosecutions. I think these allegations by themselves, uh, where often in the law I can speak as an, as, as an attorney uh, uh, here, Harris, it's not only impropriety, it's the appearance of impropriety and the appearance that Fonnie Willis broke up the marriage of a man she hired, that she was sleeping with him, and that she paid him $650,000 in taxpayer uh, money. That is more than enough to cause an issue here. Wow. I, I don't know why I've never called on you as an attorney before. I'll, I'll forthwith <laughs> be doing it. All right, let's move to this. House Republicans plan a new round yes. of subpoenas for Hunter Biden. After he did a 180 Friday, he finally agreed to sit down for a closed-door deposition after blowing one off last month, and then that whole stunt last week showing up uninvited to, to a House hearing, which, by the way, Americans can do, but he skipped out on the subpoena. In a letter to Hunter's lawyer, Republicans wrote, although the committee subpoenas are lawful and remain legally enforceable, we are prepared to issue new subpoenas compelling Mr. Biden's appearance at a deposition on a new date in the coming weeks. Hunter with a couple of stunts when it comes to those subpoenas. Again, he shocked a House panel by storming into his own contempt hearing that was going on in oversight. All right, I come back to you for your legal thoughts on this. We don't have a lot of time. Yeah, the only thing I can think is that Hunter Biden was going to try to argue that he wasn't defying the subpoena. He was just combating the method in which the deposition was going to take place. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be a really difficult putt to uh, sink from a legal perspective. And there was so much negative blowback from the White House and beyond that Hunter Biden finally decided, you know what, given the precedent that's been set already with Steve Bannon, I need to show up or I'm going to put yeah. the, uh, the White House in an even more difficult position, the Department of Justice and Merrick Garland as well. And so basically he's folded and he's showing up now. Clay Travis, thank you. Happy New Year. And hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.